CNBC TV 18, celebrating 16 years of business leadership. Welcome back then. As we speak, uh, the Nifty is holding with some gains of close to around 10 points, while the mid-cap index, as we've been stating as well, is running away this morning. It's uh, holding with a gain of close to around 100 points, moved to the high point of the day. But from the Bank Nifty space, uh, it's holding with a gain of around 60 points. A couple of divergent moves, because I think Bank of Broda should be up for you on the screen. That one's come off the high point of the day. In fact, Axis Bank as well has come off the high point of the day. So just pull up both those two uh, stocks. And we are seeing Kotak Mahindra Bank move to the high point of the day. So both those two banks are losing. While on the flip side, we have something like a Kotak Mahindra Bank that suddenly moved to the high point. But let's get chatting with some about some mid-cap stocks. We have the management of Anu Pharma, Mr. Bipin Shah, the MD, who joins us today. Hi, Mr. Shah. Thanks so much for yeah, joining us. Yeah, fine. Me. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Shah. Uh, Mr. Shah, could you give us some details? Uh, we believe that you've received a WHO pre-qualification for one of your products, uh, that's uh, sulfadoxine. Uh, could you tell us how far away is it from launch? What are the remaining steps uh, that are there? And also, what's the estimated market size uh, for this particular drug? Yeah, I'll tell you, we have been working on this product since more than four years. Okay. We had applied for WHO Geneva pre-qualification All right. before two and a half years. Okay. And before four or five days, after a lot of documentation work done in last two and a half years, we got WHO Geneva pre-qualification. Mm -hmm. That is the first time in the world that uh, we are the only company who will be enjoying this pre-qualification. Okay. So, Mr. Shah, when are you likely to launch this product now? Any more approvals the product, pending? The product is already launched, but now that it has got a regulatory approval from Geneva, mm -hmm. all the World Bank tenders, uh, owners will be able to use our material. So what kind of opportunity does it open up for Anu Pharma? This will open up an opportunity of 150 to 200 metric tons per year. And in terms of value, sir, could you give us some numbers? What, in terms of value across, uh, how much uh, could it yeah. get, help you in terms of revenues as well as what will be the margins on uh, this uh, particular product? Any regulatory product has always very handsome margin. Correct. And uh, if you say in terms of the top line, mm -hmm. this will open up about, uh, I would say, $5 million top line. And by when can this hit your books? Come back again. How, by when can this uh, particular number hit your books, uh, $5 million uh, that you're talking Between about? Between 6 to 18 months. All right, six to okay. eight months. So on an annual basis, you're saying your revenues could improve by $5 million? Yes, it will Every slowly year. pick up because they will need to take certain validation batches. And uh, hopefully from 1st April 2017 going up to 31st March, this will have a full-fledged valuation of about $5 million US dollars. Which countries will you be supplying to? This will be to... The entire Europe and African countries, because this is mainly an anti-malarial ingredient mm -hmm. used in combination with pyrimidine. All right, uh, Mr. Shah, if I just look at it, you know, could you first tell us uh, in terms of uh, percentage we're looking to increase exposure to Europe? So. What will your exposure go to after this? And also, secondly, uh, the first half of this year has been absolutely splendid for you. Now you're saying that, in fact, we could see around uh, uh, around uh, five million dollars come into your book. So, what's the what's the revenue tra tra trajectory for maybe FI18? The revenue tra trajectory, we, at present, we are at about 325 crores. Correct. It should be about 450 crores. 450 crores for FI18. So, three, uh, 325 crores. You're talking about FI16. Yeah, FY16. All right, and 450 crores would be by when? FY18. Okay, and what margin, sir? This will have a greater margin because this is a regulatory approval. No, I meant by F518, when your revenues hit 450 crore, since you are launching and increasing your exposure to regulatory products which have higher margins, what would be the blended margins of Anu Pharma? How much would they go up oh. by? Uh, we we propose to close the uh, FY18 by at least 50 to 55 CR PBT. 50 to 55 CR PBT. Okay. So, any other drugs uh, that you'd like to update or update us on? Any progress? Yeah. See, on 10th February 2016, we'll have again have an EDQM uh, inspection. That is European Directorate of Quality Medicine. 
and they will be expecting our plant. And during that, we hope to get one additional product, getting an EDQM approval that is erythromycin steroid. Okay, which plant is this and which product? Erythromycin. The name of the product is erythromycin steroid. <coughs> okay. As on today, we have erythromycin base and erythromycin ethyl succinate, which already have a European approval. But with this inspection on 10th of February 2016, we hope to get one more product included in EDQM approval. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Shah, one final question before we let you go. Uh, I, if I just